Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, we're going to learn how to add pagination to our Laravel application. So let's go back to our application and we can see recently we have created a bunch of ideas, right? And if I keep scrolling, we have like, I don't know, maybe 20 or 30 of them. So, and obviously this looks very bad. So I want to add some sort of pagination here. And for now, I'm going to have basically next and back type of pagination. Later on, maybe we can add load more something similar to Twitter. But for now, I want to add a very basic pagination. So how can we do that? Let's go to our dashboard controller where we are actually displaying this page. So right now we are doing idea, we are ordering it, and I'm basically getting all of them. To actually do pagination in Laravel, all you have to do is just type in paginate. That's it. That's all you have to do. And then inside the function, as an argument, or a parameter, you can pass in how many items per page. For now, I'd like to have five ideas per page. We can change it later on. And if you do that and you go back, you immediately say, see, we have only five, right? That's one, two, three, four, five. But we don't have any, uh, you know, pagination buttons. So how can we add that? We need to do that in our Laravel blade. So I'll go back to our blade. And this is where we have our for loop, right? And just under it, I'll say the following ideas, which is going to be our collection, right? This is the ideas here, right? The result of this paginate. And then you can call the links method on it, right? Just call it links. And doing so will basically add the pagination buttons for us. So I'll reload that and I go down. Now, if I go here, it looks odd, right? The CSS seems to be wrong. And the reason is because uh, Laravel is using Tailwind as default. Now, if you're using Tailwind for your application, it will work right off the gate. But for me, right now, we are using Bootstrap 5. So how do we make this work? There are actually two ways of doing this. And the simplest way is by going to a file called your service provider. So go inside your application, providers, and click on app service providers. These are basically code that are executed before your application is run or anything is displayed. We will cover service providers later on, but for now, just to fix our pagination, we can call in paginate. Paginator, yep. So this one is gonna be in this class, right? If you are not, you don't have auto suggestion. And then you can call a static method called use bootstrap, right? And you can see it has a few options. So you have use Tailwind, which is the default option. Uh, use Bootstrap 3, use Bootstrap 4 and 5. We are using Bootstrap 5 on this template. So I'll use, use Bootstrap 5. And that is it. And this will be executed at the start of our application. Any request is before execution of every request. This boot function is run. So basically, before we display anything, we are telling Laravel, hey, man, I want to use Bootstrap 5 for our pagination template. Please use that. And if we go in and we reload the page, you can see we have a beautiful pagination. Now the spacing is a bit off, so I'll add some margin. So I'll actually add a diff here. Why not? And I give it some uh, margin top, let's say three, and I'll format this. And if we reload, now it looks super clean. You can see showing one of one to five of 35 results. You can easily go back and forth. And it looks great. And that is it, guys. That's how you can easily add pagination to your application. So if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section below. I'll try to help you guys out. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. And I see you guys on the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.